Hello and welcome to India News TV. We are here at 2021 Asia Pacific City Summit and Mayors Forum in Brisbane Exhibition Centre. Indian News TV had an exclusive conversation with Lord Mayor of Brisbane, Mr. Aaron Schinner, to discuss some of the key challenges and opportunities which lie ahead for Brisbane on road to 2032 Olympics. Here's a listen. So, Lord Mayor, let me begin by asking, what are your key takeaways from the summit? Hmm. Well, we're still uh, still quite a bit of discussion to go, but but so far there's been some really positive uh, discussions between city leaders on how each city is uh, dealing with the challenges that have been thrown up by the pandemic, and also what happens next, how they've responded to uh, these challenges. But also, one of the great things is that uh, cities have been seeing the pandemic not just as a challenge, but as an opportunity, uh, an opportunity to do things differently, to do things better to adapt the way that they do things. Mm -hmm. Cit cities have seen the uh, challenges as also opportunities and um, opportunities to change the way that they do things. But also there's been some very rapid change that's been made. Uh, changes that would normally take many, many years have happened very quickly. Uh, a simple thing that we've seen in, in many cities around the world is, is the move away from using cash um, to make transactions and, and going online. Um, the big boom in um, you know the, the use of QR codes for getting access to things and information as well and uh, these are just simple things but they do impact on our everyday life you know using whether you use cash or not is a, is a very important thing uh, Brisbane was actually the first city in Australia to uh, eliminate uh, coins from parking meters uh, it's now all uh, through electronic transactions uh, and credit cards and so uh, that change under normal circumstances would have taken a long time to bring in but because of COVID it's sped up the process so it's just one example exactly uh, the Indian city of Hyderabad, which also yes. happens to be the sister city, is also part of this summit. Yeah. How significant is that for you? Oh, look, it's wonderful to have had the mayor involved in our mayor's forum, the mayor of Hyderabad. Uh, we uh, have valued the sister city relationship with Hyderabad, and uh, unfortunately, we haven't been able to visit in recent times, but to have the mayor uh, participating virtually in, in this summit has been a real honour. And uh, we want to thank Hyderabad, the mayor, the city leaders for their uh, commitment to the relationship with Brisbane and also to the, the relationship between India and Australia as well, which is really important. Let me regurgitate and ask you about your experience in Tokyo and when you heard about the Olympics happening in Brisbane, yeah. how was your reaction? How did you feel? <laughs> oh, it's very hard to describe. Um, just, just to be uh, travelling for a start uh, was something very different at this point in time, but to be dr addressing the IOC members and speaking of the passion that we have for Brisbane, and then to seeing uh, to see them reflect that passion in their response, uh, and then to name Brisbane as the host city and and Southeast Queensland as the host region, uh, was something I will never forget in my entire life. To be there, uh, that was a critical moment, uh, and it's something I will never forget. I know it will be great for our region, great for our state, and great for the nation. There are so many opportunities that will come out of uh, hosting this event in 11 years' time, uh, and not just opportunities for the community to participate in the sports and watch the sports, but also business opportunities, partnerships around the world that will come from it. And also, I'm particularly excited about the way that we'll get all three levels of government working together, cooperating on important things. A lot may, it will require long-term planning, a lot of infrastructural development, uh, cooperation on various levels of the government. Are we up for that? Uh, absolutely. I think those things that you mentioned, so the, the cooperation, long-term planning, uh, these are the holy grail of government. If you get three levels of government cooperating, that's the holy grail. If you get long-term planning, that's the holy grail. So this Olympic opportunity is the opportunity to achieve things that normally are very difficult to achieve. Uh, it's a sad reality, but it's true. Uh, too often we see conflict between different levels of government. Uh, too, too often we see short-term planning as opposed to long-term planning. And we want to move away from that. We want to think about the long-term future. And so now we're not just planning for the 11 years until the Games, but also a further decade beyond that for the legacy. And so a 20-year plan, uh, that's something that will benefit all of us. Uh, talking about the businesses, Lodmir, uh, what does it carry for small-scale businesses, Olympics 2032? Well, Sydney uh, gave us some great examples where uh, in the Sydney venues, um, the supplier for the seats or the seating in those venues uh, was a local business. 
That was their first major contract to supply the Sydney Olympics in 2000. Uh, and since they uh, successfully did that work and provided the seating, they have now supplied venues all around the world. So that local business then became an international business because of the Sydney Olympics. And that shows you the kind of opportunities that can come out of these events for local businesses. Uh, there were a lot of businesses that grew out of the Sydney Olympics, and I have no doubt it will be the same thing from uh, for the Brisbane and the Queensland Olympics. We will see local people gearing up to supply the needs of the Olympics, and uh, they will then uh, have a big future ahead of them as a result. All right. On that note, thanks a lot for talking to us, Scott Mayor. A pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. You. No, thank you. Okay. Thank you.